Hey guys, and welcome to the Volkswagen MK1 series, guys. Golf, Rabbit, Cabriolet, Caddy, you name it, we got you covered. In today's video, we are changing the valve cover gasket, guys. Uh, I got a 1.8 liter CIS fuel injected engine, but uh, it's gonna be the same carbureted, lots and lots of different engines. Even the diesel should be the same. Let's get into this right away, everybody. Okay, guys, so I got this at Rock Auto. A great place. They deliver right to your door, rockauto.com. Anyways, so uh, I did pressure wash the motor, so it's hard to see. But all back here, I had tons and tons of oil leaking out from, from right here, from like... I can tell it's leaking out from uh, the gasket on the valve cover, guys. So in this video, that's what we are changing. So the first thing you gotta do, guys, is you have to loosen the alternator belt in order to get this cover off, the timing belt cover. Very simple, guys. You got a 10 mil here. You gotta loosen that just a little bit. You gotta loosen this just a little bit. And right in this hole here, guys, look, check it out. Right in there. See, that's a 13 mil. Uh, you gotta just loosen it. You don't have to pull it out. Uh, actually, this is a 13 mil too. So I'm gonna loosen those three and the alternator will just drop down and we'll be able to pull off the belt. Super duper easy so far. Okay, ready? See, she just drops, no problem. Once you get all three loose, bring it down. Belt off, step number one done, guys. Okay, step number two, guys, also very simple. So right here, we have a 10 mil, and right here, we have a 10 mil. Let's get both of those off right now, so I'll quickly off camera do that. Okay, got both those off. So now, depending on if you have air conditioning or not, things like that, uh, there's a few random hoses here, which you can easily just remove or or push out of the way. In my case, they're off because I am doing many other things on this car right now. I literally just changed the timing belt like 10 minutes ago and now I'm fixing this, right? So, um, okay, so next. This just pulls up, see like this. And then you can remove this whole thing. Um, you just pull up on it. And it will come off. Ah, come on. Anyways, you guys get the idea. There it goes. So that's off. You know, I removed the hose there, that kind of stuff. So now over here, six millimeter Allen key. See that? Right there. You got to remove that bolt, guys. Uh, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now that I got that off, see, this will just come right off. But you need you do need the belt to be off, otherwise it it gets it's kind of in the way. See for it to do that. Okay, let me use both my hands here, guys. There we go. Okay, so I did clean this in the previous episode. I just wanted to wrap the episode up, so I put it back on. Um, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna paint this black, just with some spray paint, just so it looks decent when I put it back on. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is just the way we took these ones off, these nuts, we're going to take all the nuts off on the valve cover. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to do that right now. All right, she should just come right off. Oh, yeah, as you can tell, this gasket was desperately needed to be changed. Duh. Okay, so here it is, right? That's the inside of it. So I am gonna grab some diesel fuel and I'm gonna clean this thing up with it. You could use brake cleaner. I mean, you could use gasoline, but I don't want somebody catching on fire and blaming it on me. So maybe don't use gasoline. Uh, you know, there's like a breather kind of thing there that comes out there. It wouldn't be a bad idea to clean all that out while you got it out. The second thing is your gasket. So you just want to make sure, you know, you get the old gasket off, but you got to make sure you collect 
all the old gaskets so nothing falls inside the motor, right? So that was there. See, so that makes sense. So everything's there, and look right here. That's where it was leaking, as you can tell. So this part comes off, see, like this. Remember how it goes back on? See, there's like a little groove there. So that groove goes towards the back of the motor. I will remember that. I don't think you could put it on wrong. So this can also be cleaned spotless. And that. Um, okay, and then just go around and remove the old gasket, guys. See, it just comes right off. Nothing really to it. If it's stuck, you're gonna have to use a razor blade, scrape it off, that kind of stuff, but I think we're good here. So I'm gonna go around and remove that. Also, you are removing this part too, and that part at the back, so. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it all off right now, off camera. Okay, just on the other side here. So some gasket are like a two-piece, see? So like this part is separate, see like that? Uh, but some gaskets, when you buy new ones, that part is built into the gasket. See, kind of like this one is. So it doesn't matter which one you get. That's the one I got. Uh, there's still a couple tricks to this, so don't go off the video, or it's going to be leaking on you guys. Okay, uh, so next, guys, you want to grab a nice clean rag, right? Um, you know, don't get any lint inside your motor. Like, you're only wiping this part. I'm just gonna wipe all the oils away, you know, all in here. So go around and clean everything super duper good. Okay guys, so I got my cleaning solution here. And what you wanna do is, so diesel's good, whatever. Just grab a paintbrush. Just clean all the crap off of it. Pretty, pretty simple, guys. So easy there. Right, grab a paper towel. You can get this thing looking pretty good in no time at all. So that's that. And then this thing, I already cleaned some of it and then the battery died on my phone, but so you put your, your finger on this Take some of the fuel, you put it in there, shake it around. That's a breather, right? There was so much crap in there, look. You know, just go around, clean this whole thing nice. Right, the best you can. And then on this side, same thing, we're gonna clean it. I even got this like scotch bright thing. You guys get it. So I'm going to spend about 10 minutes cleaning this. I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. Okay guys, so I'm painting it with this. Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover. This paint is incredible guys. So I got the shiny black, uh, gloss black. Okay, check out how good this covers. So I'm just gonna do two or three super light coats. Look how nice that looks already. So I'm gonna do that. And the other thing, guys. Okay, guys, so here it is. Looking nice, nice and clean. So obviously I'm only painting the outside of it. Same method, same great paint. So I mean, guys, it's up to you on how long you want to spend on stuff. But for me, certain engine parts that nobody's looking at, I like to just do them quick. Look how amazing this paint is. Okay, guys, you get the idea. Two light coats. And I'll show you what this looks like in a second. Okay, guys, it is actually the next day. I uh, wanted to let this stuff dry really good, the paint. Check out how it turned out. So I just got it drying right there. Look how nice that looks. Okay, let's go prep this for uh, putting this on. And guys, there's me in the shadow. 
Uh, check out the underneath of the car. Look how awesome it looks. So that's what that looks like now. So I got a nice episode coming on undercarriage restoration, how to paint the undercarriage. And I also did uh, all this. This is also gonna be the next episode. See, this was kind of rusted there. So I did some nice step-by-step -step repair videos, guys. So make sure you check out the next two episodes. Look how awesome that looks. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm just gonna really, really well wipe all this off, make it nice and clean. I'm gonna use a little bit of Varsol. It's just like a cleaner, paint thinner kind of thing on one of those blue rags and I'm just gonna get all the oils off and clean it off. Okay, so now everything's nice and clean. So if you were using a gasket, like a three-piece gasket, where this part's separate, that part's separate, and then the gasket is separate, then you gotta use something like this. Uh, Honda Bond is a great one. You need to use like a gasket maker and you gotta put it, um, well, in these corners, that corner, that corner, you should put some on this, right? And this corner and this corner kind of thing. Um, you know, that's what they're saying. They're like glue in this piece and glue in this piece with the gasket maker, then put on your gasket. In our case, we got a gasket that's all one piece. Uh, this is very good high quality. Look, it's got like nice grooves everywhere. This is totally gonna work. So in my case, I'm not gonna use any uh, silicone stuff or gasket maker. Uh, we're just gonna put it on for two reasons. One, it's a one piece gasket, so it should be fine. And two, I mean, I'm trying to get this thing running. I've only had this car running once so far and I'm fixing everything, gas tank, you name it. I got episodes on everything, fuel system. So there's a chance I might have to pull it off again. So I don't wanna silicone it on, but. Um, pretty straightforward. Let's just put it on, guys. Okay, so here it is. Pretty straightforward. Just line everything up nice. Very good gasket, guys, from Rock Auto. So make sure, you know, it's in here good when you put the top on. So that's that. You know, that's got to go in nice like this. Okay, now this thing that we washed. So that's ready to go on. See with this little indent facing to the back of the car. So that just goes on like this. Okay, I'm just off camera going to double check, make sure it's sitting good. And then we're going to put the cover on. Okay, so there it is. As you can see, nice and clean. Looking very nice. So now, we're gonna be putting this on. So your most important thing is right here, make sure this is sitting in the correct grooves. Otherwise it's gonna leak. So that's gotta be right there sitting, which it is. You can see it through this wheel here, sprocket. All right, let's do this. See, I can see that it's where it's supposed to be. Okay, this now, and this. Now all the little nuts. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna tighten them loose. Just finger tight loose, you know? Everyone except for these two. We still gotta put the cover on. Okay, so look how nice that looks. So now, see through here, you can see that, that sat good. See that gasket is where it's supposed to be. You can kind of see it. Everything's looking good. So it's sitting where it's supposed to be sitting. Okay, we're gonna put this cover on now, guys. Okay, pretty straightforward. Just the way you took it off. Okay, I'm gonna put those two bolts on. Uh, this side one, I'm gonna put it in off camera. And then I'll show you like how to torque these down. Okay guys, here it is all put back together. Look how nice that looks. So now to tighten these bolts, 
you do it in a crisscross pattern, just like a head gasket. So you, you would go one, two, three, four, five, you know, six, seven, eight kind of thing. But they only get torqued down to 87 inch pounds, guys. Not foot pounds, inch pounds. So basically, you just hand tighten them, you know, with a, with a ratchet like this, guys. You know, tight, not too tight. You don't want to break any bolts. Uh, thanks for watching Problem Solver Garage, guys. And remember, this is an entire series of restoring this Volkswagen MK1. So uh, click on the link and watch every single episode in a row, just like you would a real show right from day one. Thanks for watching. Till next time, everybody.